Okay. So let's sit in for Kasna. Once more to the frame. Heels in line with the groin, soles of your feet facing the sky. Walk it out, so grab a glute, pull it out wide. Strong sitting bones, place the backing of your wrists on your knees, pick your chin mudra. Or press your index finger into your thumb, have your thumb, that's a nice place to be. And now it allows you to get your arms straight, crease of your elbows, rolling up to the sky, slide your shoulders down your back. Close your eyes, look up to your third eye, press your tongue into the roof of your mouth. And now focus as far away as possible so you'll feel your eyeballs roll out to the side. Eyes closed, making your breath loud. Long, deep inhalations. Expanding in your side ribs, breathing up to your collarbone. And as you exhale, you're emptying your lungs, then you're pulling your belly button towards your spine. Pressing the crown of your head away from your tailbone, so growing long from the four corners of your neck as you inhale. Drawing your arms and flesh forward, so it's a very active asana. Please close. Ujjayi is switched on, using your ujjayi as the doorway from your thoughts to your body to your breath. So really feeling that Ujjayi is working a purpose so you can step away from your thoughts into your physical being. Taking your right thumb resting on your right nostril, Nadi Shodhana breathing, middle finger on your third eye, and now your ring finger and your middle finger become one finger to you cover your left nostril. From here, let's Hi, Nessa, let's mute you. You mute yourself, Nessa. Um, good. So exhale and empty, squeeze all the air out. We're not even sure, no, we're going to do with Kumbaka, so we're going to exhale for eight, inhale for eight, hold for eight. Make your left arm straight and strong. So this is still active. This still holds your chest up, your left arm, even though your right hand is not thumbs covering your... Oh, Vanessa, can you, can you, let me just, um, let me just, uh, exit from the screen. Uh, let me just make you, uh, mute. There you go, got it. You guys are good. So, let's just be back in Tkasna. Welcome. Grab a glute, pull it wide. Nardi shoulder, so squeeze all the air out. Empty, empty, full empty. And let's begin. Right nostril. Inhale for eight, four, five. Filling your side ribs, breathing up to your collarbone. And come back up. Chin on your chest. Draw your mula banda up from your pelvic floor, up from the mat. Lift your chin, left nostril. Squeeze the air out. Five, six, every last drop, and then come back up again, chin on your chest, draw up in Mulabanda. Lift your chin, left nostril, inhaling by pushing your belly button away from your spine, filling your side ribs, leading up to your collarbone, and pressing your crown away from your tailbone, come back up. Right nostril as you exhale. Hi, pets, welcome. And Kumbaka, chin down for eight. And before you breathe in, ask yourself, where's this next breath coming from? What emotion? As you inhale, reminding yourself that you not only you have to breathe, you need to want to breathe. And what is that want? Have that in place for every asana as you Kumbaka, chin your chest, duck the ground up, pelvic floor, convocate. Lift your chin, left nostril for the last time. Squeeze all the air out, empty from your side ribs down to the core. And Kumbaka, chin down. Mula Banda is engaged. Five, six. As you come back up, just to bring your breathing up to natural, keep your nostril, release your nostril, take your 
hands interlace your fingers, press the palms of your hands towards the front of your mat, push your spine through your shoulder blades and inhale. As you exhale, lift your prayer to the palms of the sky, through your biceps towards your ears, press your palm away from your tailbone, so all the way lengthen your shoulder. As you inhale, come back down, press your palm forward again on the inhale, long, generous breaths. And as you exhale again, press your prayer to the palms of the sky. Make your sitting bones heavy as you push your palms away. Inhale, come down, keep your interlaced fingers as you just roll out your wrists, moving kindly and gently and setting this as an intention that you're going to treat yourself with love and care throughout the practice in each asana. Because the way you treat yourself on the mat is how you treat yourself in real life. So this is where we do the hard work. Reminding yourself that the easy part of your practice will be the asana. Strong arming your way through it, change, change direction you have already. And the hard part will be to practice without judgment and without thought and opinion. As you exhale, release. Kapalabhati. One round of Kapalabhati. We're going to go to our Udhyana Banda, which is here. So we're going to take a deep inhale in, breathe all the air in, belly button away from the spine, so your lungs, touch your collarbone. You're going to come down halfway, and then we'll do fifth, around 50 pumps. So forceful exhalation, passive inhalation. Make it as loud as you like. And then when you're ready, you're going to squeeze, empty all the air out of your lungs and unempty the holes by drawing your belly button in and under. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now generously push your belly button away from your spine as you inhale, fingers pointing towards the back of the mat. Roll your shoulder down your back. And as you press your knees into the mat, lift your chin, jack your hip points up, roll your shoulders back. Pressing your blades, your shins into the mat. Switch on your glutes. Try and drag your knees towards your, your wrists. Lift your chin, look on your third side. And then exhale, calm down. And roll onto your knees, tabletop. Push step up onto your knees, hand underneath your shoulders, index fingers in line with the long edge of the mat. And take your cat cow, so you start off with a cow. As you wrap your biceps forward, push your knees out wide, and then as you arch your back into your, into your cat, we're gonna pull your knees in towards each other and release your elbows out wide. Feel that transition. Inhale, wrists, knees, knees out wide, chin high. Exhale, looking at your belly button. And you need to be responsible for your breath. As you use your breath as a meditation, all yoga is is a moving meditation. Be responsible for it. Take responsibility for it. After a couple of those, push back through Balasana and up into your first down dog. Index fingers in line with the long edge of the mat. Settle in down dog. We're going to roll through the two uh, uh, Udana Banda Kriyas. So from here, you're in down dog. You push your knees out wide, walk it out, get comfortable. You're looking for stillness in each asana. So the movement and the action happens inside, but on the outside you're still. And then from here, you're gonna empty your lungs out, squeeze all the air out of your lungs, and then sucking your belly button in and under for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Deep inhale as you come through to high plank. Draw the air in, full engage. Knees on the mat, balasana on the exhale. Squeeze all the air out of your lungs and you get to the back, push it back up, stay on it on an empty, and hold for eight and go into down dog for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale as you reach forward into high plank. Exhale back to balasana. And when you hit the bottom, when you run out of air, you're gonna push back up to down dog and count hold for another eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, last one. Inhale, reach forward, high plank, push your spine through your shoulder blades. And exhale, push back through Balasana. Push your tailbone away from your index fingers. On empty, suck your belly button under your ribcage as you push up into down dog for eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We reach forward, inhale, high plank. Lie down on the mat, Pepper Bhujangasana. Just lie on your belly, slide your fingertips halfway down your chest. Your index fingers are in line with your nipples. Pull your elbows towards each other, press your toes and the tops of your thighs into the mat. And the exhale, you're gonna lift, arch your back, press the backs of your elbows down to the mat, and now try and drag yourself forward so your triceps are engaged. Looking forward, press your toes away from your heart. And on the exhale, Balasana, push back up into down dog. Again, moving with your breath and being led by your breath. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, lie down on the mat. Prepare for Bhujangasana, baby cobra. Slide your fingers back as you inhale. Press your pubic bone into the mat. Press your elbows back and towards each other. And then exhale, back through Balasana and up into down dog. Setting your intention, reminding yourself that yo, you don't do yoga, you're in yoga, it's a state of mind, it's a moving meditation. As you inhale, push the ground away with your toes. Exhale, step your left foot forward, step your right foot forward, come up to Uttanasana. As you inhale, fly your chest forward, keep your fingertips on the mat. Exhale, looking at your belly button, micro bend your knees. You inhale, sweep your prayer to the sky, lift your chin, look beyond your ring fingers and slide your hands down for Samasiti as you pass your heart, lift your heart on the way down, hands by your hips, pushing your heels into the mat. Lift up all your 10 little toes and spread them out as far as they can go. Become aware of the four corners of your feet. Push your heels into the mat and now push them out wide, try and tear the mat in the middle. Outer thighs are going to roll in, send your tailbone down to the mat, so sucking your core. As you inhale, lift your arms, your shoulders up, back, and as you press your ring fingers away from your crown, feel the length in your four corners of your neck. Again, as you inhale, shoulders up, roll them back, and press them down. Your tongue pushed into the roof of your mouth, your gaze is soft, it's going to stay that way for your whole practice. Setting your back to you, setting your intention for your practice. When you practice with someone other than yourself, you take on a greater presence. It, it suddenly has a great responsibility. It's like cooking for yourself. You make toast. If you've got friends coming around, you're going to make a whole dinner. Think of that when you're practicing for other people, the cause you love, believe in. On the inhale, lift your armpits, but drop your shoulder points. So your Udiana Banda sucks in and under. Don't go back, just go up. You can't. All that happens is your core comes under, tucks it under, tucks your tailbone. Strong in your Samasiti. Breathe, inhale. And exhale. Prepare for your Surya. Pause while I just find the bloody track. God. Why can't I do this? Good. Standing at the front of your mats, prepare for your Surya A, Surya Namaskar. When you're, when you're ready, exhale, squeeze all the air out of your lungs and inhale. Last exhale. Let's begin our half series. As you inhale, prayer to the sky, lift your chin. Exhale, come down with a straight spine for Uttanasana. Inhale, lift your heart, fly your front chest forward. Exhale, Uttanasana. As you inhale, prayer to the sky. Oh, we're not down there yet. Exhale. Okay. We're only doing halves. Let's start from the beginning again. Sorry. So you're in front of your mat. So I was just doing a half surya. Let's go for the full surya. Prepare. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Push your belly button away from your spine. And breathe out. Surya A. As you inhale, prayer to the sky. Look beyond your thumbs. Exhale, Uttanasana. Keep your spine straight. 
Inhale, make your front chest long, fingertips on the mat. Exhale, step your left foot back, step your right foot back, chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, draw your hip points towards your wrists. Exhale, Ardha Mukha for five breaths. Feet are hip width apart. Pushing the blades of your feet out wide. Driving the knuckle of your index fingers into the mat. Drawing your kneecaps up into your hip flexors. Breathing the backs of your knees. Look through your shins. Inhale, four. Exhale, so you're really rolling your outer thighs in. Inhale, five. As you exhale, look at the bottom of the exhale, push the ground away with your toes. As you inhale, step your left foot forward, step your right foot forward. Make your front chest long. Exhale, crown heavy, look at your belly button, Uttanasana. Michael, bend your knees, prayer to the sky on the inhale. Exhale, Samasthi T. Do one more Surya A. Inhale, prayer to the sky. Exhale, Uttanasana, spine straight. Then as you inhale, fly your front chest long. Exhale, step your left foot back, step your right foot back, Chaturanga. Udva Mukha, Banasana. Exhale, tailbone high for Ardha Mukha. Feet are hip width apart. So you send it, as you inhale, lift your tailbone up and you exhale, push it towards the back of the room. Rolling your outer thighs in. Spinning your thumbs towards the front of the mat so your shoulders open. Good. Reminding yourself that you are not these asanas and you are not this body. You're just observing your practice. It's the hardest part of your flow. Last inhale. Exhale, push the ground away. So inhale, step your left foot forward, step your right foot forward. Exhale, crown hangs heavy. Look at your belly button. Inhale, sweep your prayer to the sky. Press your ring fingers away from your heels. Exhale, Samastiti, last Surya A. Inhale, prayer to the sky. Exhale, come down, Uttanasana, look at your belly button. As you inhale, fly your front chest forward, draw your shoulder blades down your back, and exhale, step back to Satsangaranga. Urdhva Mukha, hip points towards your wrists, Ardha Mukha. Inhale for one, feet are hip width apart. Exhale, nourishing breath, making your inhale softer than your exhale. Breathing into the backs of your knees, finding stillness. Using your thigh muscles to draw your heart down towards your ankles and now sending your collarbone towards your thumbs. Last inhale. As you exhale, push the ground away. Step your left foot forward, step your right foot forward. As you inhale, Ukatasana. Now fly your front chest forward and exhale, Uttanasana. Now straight breath, Ukatasana for five breaths. You inhale, drop your tailbone, feet are touching. Press your knees together. Press your fingertips away from your tailbone. Feel fit, get as far as possible. Ukatasana, right there, it's not Uk, Uk. Fierce pose, fierce pose. So press your fingertips, imagine your arms start halfway down your chest, push your fingertips away from your shoulder points, nick your floating ribs in on the exhale so you empty your core. Last inhale, exhale, take your left elbow onto your right knee for Pashasana. Look over your left shoulder, uh, right shoulder, press the prayer, right elbow is high, bring your heart around. If you want to straighten your left arm, take a modification. Keep your knees in line, look over your right shoulder, spiraling with your shoulders, not your neck. Stretch, not happening in the neck. Good. Next, inhale, release, Ukatasana for one breath. Exhale, change sides, right elbow onto left knee. Press into your prayer, look over your left shoulder. Make your transition as intentional as the asana. Inhaling, long, generous inhale, and soft. Exhale, Muller band is on in the twist. Last inhale, exhale, Ukatasana, come back down to neutral. Ukatasana for one breath, and now Ardha Ukatasana, lie your chest on your thighs, through your biceps towards your ears, chest on thighs. Press your ring fingers away from your tailbone. Now suck your belly button off your thighs. Oh man, come lower, bend your knees. Now suck your belly button off your thighs, biceps towards your ears. Inhale, coming up onto your toes. 
Exhale, place your hands down on the mat, Bakasana Crow. Knees into your elbows, uh, knees into your armpits. Kick your heels up, lift them up towards your glutes. Look forward, trust yourself. Know that the ground is there to catch your face if you need to use it. Breathe in, just play with it and hold. Wherever you're up to, take a deep inhale, prepare to shoot your feet back to Chaturanga. And let's meet in Chaturanga. Keep your triceps perpendicular to the floor, don't count too low as you inhale Udva Mukha. Exhale, let's meet in down dog, that's good. Step your toes into the midline, let's meet in down dog. Toes touching. Inhale, kick your left toes up towards the sky. Point your left toe, internally rotate your thigh, drop your left hip point, straighten that back leg. Drop your left hip point down, drop it down, drop it down, good. Now kick your toe away, point straight, collarbone square with the front edge of the mat. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, left toes to the sky. Exhale, left knee to chin, kiss your knee. Inhale, toe to the sky, opening. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Hold it above your right elbow, your right heel is high for four, three, two, one. Step your foot out for and triangle. Right hand to the sky, now drop. Right, reach up with your right hand and now drop it over so your right bicep is on your right ear. Turn your left elbow towards the front of the mat so you can lift your right arch off the mat. Banana your hips up, lift your chin, look onto your Hasta Gri Drishti, which is your right hand. Last inhale, generous breath in. Exhale, right hand down onto the mat, kick your left toes up towards the sky. Now turn your left foot out. Externally wrap that right thigh to the back of the room so you're stacking your hips. Kick your heel up and away. Exhale, bending your left foot, left knee so you can see your left foot through your left, right armpit. Stay here or come straight over into wild thing. So if you're in wild thing, your right leg is straight, your left heel is high, left heel is high, hip points high. And then exhale, your left hand comes down on the mat, Keep your right toes up. And when you're ready, back left foot comes step forward for warrior one. Back foot 45 degrees. Sweep your prayers to the sky, keep your prayers together. Right foot's 45 degrees. Your left, right, left knee's tracking over your left ankle. As you inhale, press your fingertips away from your shoulder points. It's hot within your chest. Knit your floating ribs in on the exhale. Firm your right glute. Send your right thigh to the back of the room. Now drag your right heel towards your left. So you lift your core, heart on the ceiling. Exhale, warrior two, we move your hands out. Maybe readjust, I like to fit you. Keep that left knee tracked over so your left glute on your right glute fires rolling open. Send your tailbone down to the mat. Turn the crease of your elbows to the sky so your shoulders slide down your mat back and lock your drishti onto your right middle finger. Softly, find your pace, find your space, find your breath. Be responsible for your breath. Turn your right, left hand to the sky. If you exhale, Viparita, reverse your warrior. Take your right hand behind your back. Turn your chest to the sky. Now track your left elbow across your chest as you turn your little finger to the back of the mat. As you lift your left heel off the mat and switch on your right glute. So your right left knee is tracking over your left ankle. Use your right glute. Exhale, release forward, stay in warrior. Interlace your fingers behind your back, slide your thumbs down your spine. Take them as you exhale, the humble warrior, your left shoulder comes inside your left knee. Your right inner thigh tracks your spine across. So tra drag your hip across, good. Press your fists away and be humble, be soft. Wherever you think you are, just soften into it. You're okay. Remember, yoga is about going beyond your comfort zone, but not over your edge. So find that space. Next inhale brings you up, Mula Bandha brings you up, hands out wide, prepare for your Trikonasana. As you inhale, reach forward, draw your left knee up your thigh. As you exhale, back of your left hand on the inside of your left knee, your left shin. Inhale, draw the each energy up your Shashuna. And as you exhale, fan it out, press it through your fingertips and the creases of your elbows in front of the mat. Firm your right thigh to the back of the mat. Suck the energy up the pecs rather than catch your toe. Come up higher if your left leg is straight. So left hand up just on the inside of your ankle. Great. Now you can roll your shoulders, right shoulder down your back. Good. And glue your drishti onto your right hand. 
last inhale. As you exhale, bend your left knee, take your left shoulder underneath your left thigh, your Baddha Trikonasana. You can stay back with your left leg straight or straighten. Look over your right shoulder, find your peace. Remember the yoga is learning to be in a discomfort state. Exhale, look to the front left foot, step your right foot forward. Readjust your bind. Know what you're doing, and then you're gonna speak, you're gonna stand up in Ekapada Korma Dandasana, press the ground away with your right leg, use your eyes, look up, firm your right knee, and now if you kick your left heel away, you're coming up into Bird of Paradise. Step your right foot forward. And then step, press the ground away with your right leg. Find that space and peace. Now kick through your left heel. Good. Heel. When you're ready, come back down. Your left leg comes down on the mat. Step, hold the bind, step your right leg back, and take the right forearm onto your uh, left forearm, left knee. Good, and let's meet in Parasvokanasana, extend a side angle. Nice straight line, left knee over left ankle. Lift your chin, now turn your chest, press your heart on the sky, so twist all the way around. Now lift your chin and look through your third eye, glue your drishti onto your right hand. Press your fingertips away from the blade of your back foot. Send your left sitting bone to your left heel so your right arch comes off the mat. And lift your right arch, make, make the blade of your right foot heavy. Exhale, right hand, right knee comes down on the mat. Prepare for Angelina Asana. Take your prayer, your heart, press into your thumb, between your fingers. Deep inhale, prepare. And now soft exhale, draw your left heel back. Press your right toes into the mat. Lift your floating ribs away from your left thigh. Find space and find stillness. Release your hands out wide. Take your chin mudra. Now roll your armpits up to the sky. Lift your chin. Go all the way back. Keep dragging your left heel down your back. And as you exhale, release forward it into arrow pose. Take your prayer. Stretch forward. Press your right heel back, so your right heel gives you stability. Rest your chest on your thighs, so grow long in your side ribs. Biceps glued to your ears. And then you're going to take your right elbow onto your left knee. Take your prayer, look over your left shoulder. Good, left elbow high, up, point up to the sky. Turn, so cobra your chest, turn with your shoulder blades. Not with your neck, not in the theoretical spine. Send your right heel to the back of the mat. Kick it away, drop your left hip point, lift your right. As you inhale, look to the front of the mat, take the weight, readjust it, weight into your left, left foot, and gradually just float the right foot off the mat. Good. Not easy, well done. Kick your left heel, right heel up and away. Keep your, keep your prayer glued to your right knee. Good. Then you're gonna take your hand outside by your left foot, standing split for one breath. Kick your right heel up and away. And then just float, leave your left foot, kick your right heel up and float so you land on your left foot. So take a quick L-shaped hop and your left foot comes to the back of the mat and you'll meet, have a chat with me and take a vinyasa. Yeah, back to vinyasas. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha, draw your hip points towards your wrists. Exhale, Ardo Mukha, tailbone back. Uh, walk your fingers, hands away from to the front of the mat so you bring out a mat. Well, man, you won't be able to do this because you can't do not your, your dolphin plank, but perhaps you can come down to your elbows. Dolphin plank, let's meet in dolphin plank. Tailbone down, straight body. Draw your hip points towards your chin. Concave your, your pelvis. Start to walk your toes up towards your elbows. Press the plat flats your hands into the mat. Switch on your serratus anterior muscles. Suck the energy up your thighs. Then with your toes touching, you're gonna to kick your left toe up towards the sky. Point to your left toe. Well man, you can just kick your left toe up and do three-legged dogs. Three-legged, so three-legged plank, uh, three-legged down dog. And then three-legged uh, chaturanga. Uh, sorry, one-legged chaturanga, three, three run. And then up face dog, good. When you're ready, come down to your Uttana Shoshana. Knees down. Keep one foot off the ground when you do that, Bomber. Next time, tailbone high, walk your hands forward. As you inhale, you're gonna push your knees out wide. Tailbone high, Pets, walk your hands forward. Here. 
Exhale, draw your arm down to the mat, push your knees out wide. Come back to your breath. Settle back in your breath. Take responsibility for your breath. As you exhale, push back through balasana. Come on, take your down dog. Reminding yourself that your practice is all about going beyond your comfort zone, but not over your edge. You explore that space. You be the adult in this relationship. Find a space which is enjoyable to be in. Tailbone high, down dog. Toes are touching. So step your toes into the midline. Deep inhale. As you exhale, kick your right toes up towards the sky. Drop your right hip point. Now straighten that right leg. Point the toe. It's super pointed. Good. Deep inhale. As you exhale, right knee to right elbow. Lunge forward. Core is on. Inhale, toes towards the sky. Drop your right hip point. Knee to chin. Kiss your knee. Inhale, toes up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Hold it there with your right elbow. Your high four, three, two, one. Step your left right leg out forward and triangle. So your right, your left bicep glues onto your left ear. Drop your left middle finger down towards the floor. You wrap your right bicep to the front of the room. You come out of your shoulder girdle. You lift, up. lift your left arch off the mat by bananaing your hips up. Exhale, your left hand comes down the mat, your right toes up towards the sky. Turn your right foot out, stack your right hip, your hips. Wrap your left inner thigh towards the back of the room, stack, lie straight leg, and now bending your left leg, the right leg, sorry. Put your right foot through your left armpit. Push the ground away, keep your collarbone square with the short edge of the mat, and now flip your dog, oh, flip over into wild thing all the way over, right heels high, point your left toes, hip points are high, exhale, your left hand comes down on the mat, left toes high, and step your left, right foot through to warrior one, on the right hand side, good, press the sky, press your prayer together, inhales, you push your fingertips away from your shoulder points, they're halfway down your chest as you knit your ribs in on the exhale. Drag your left chest forward, drag your left shoulder forward. Burn your left thigh to the back of the mat. You wrap your, track your right knee over your right ankle. Heart on the sky. Last deep, generous breath in. Breathe up to your collarbones. Warrior two as you windmill your hands out wide. Right arms forward. Send your tailbone down to the mat. Send your third back left side towards the back of the mat. Drag your right heel up to your leg. Turn the crease of your elbows to the sky. Now push your elbows away so your shoulders roll down your back. Find your breath. Deeper. As you inhale, turn your right hand to the sky. Reverse your warrior. Viparita, Viravitrasana. Your left hand comes around your back. Heart on the sky and now wrap it up, lift it up as you lift your chin, track your right elbow, your right elbow across your body as you lift your right heel off the mat. Use your left glute to track your right knee over your right ankle as you follow across your pelvis. Breathe in, exhale, release forward, slide your fingertips, place your fingertips, slide your thumbs down your sacrum, take a back bend while keeping your chin parallel with the floor. And now as you exhale, humble warrior, right shoulder blade inside your right knee, left inner thigh track, drags your tailbone down around to your spine, parallel with the mother of the man. Good. Crown to the floor, suck, be humble, be soft. Yoga is about rewriting the story, so rediscovering what you're actually capable of, not what you think you're capable of. Last inhale, exhale, you come back up, press the ground away, have your hands up wide, prepare to triple nasta. Left foot, so heel to arch, and inhale, reach forward before you come down, good. Now, pressing your left, your right toe mound into the mat, suck your right knee up your right thigh, into your right hip crease. 
You want to inhale to an upward shishimna. Turn the creases of your elbows forward so you can roll your right left shoulder down your back on every exhale. Like you're leaning against the wall. Firm your left thigh towards the back of the mat. And now next exhale, bend your right knee. Your right shoulder underneath your right thigh. Intake your bind over your left shoulder. Stay here. Four. Straighten your legs for Baddha Shukhanasana. Push the ground away over your left shoulder. Firm. Moving gently and kindly. You exhale, look at your right leg. Step your left up to meet your right. Prepare. Adjust fidget with your bind. And now on the exhale, step onto your left leg. As you lift your right knee up to the toe. Use your eyes up the wall. Get steady, straighten your left leg, and now kick your right heel away as you look over your left shoulder. Roll your right sitting bone under itself. And you're ready, exhale, your right foot comes down. Once it hits the ground, then you're gonna step your left foot back, take your right forearm onto your right knee, pass off an aspect, extend the side angle. Sweep your left hand to the sky. Lift your toe, twist your chest, roll your chest down, make sure your chest is facing the sky, that's what you're trying to get to. And now lift your chin and look through your third eye, lock your drishti onto your hand, the right drishti. Press your ring finger away from the blade of your left foot, and roll your right bone towards your right heel. Send your tailbone through, so you run long. Exhale. Up, inhale. Exhale, your left hand comes down on the mat, your left knee comes down on the mat. Angelina Asana. On the top, press the chin on your fingers. And then the exhale, release forward. Dragging your right heel down the mat. Using your left glute, firm your right left toes into the mat. Look, go back. Keep your alignment. Last inhale. Lift your float ribs away from your thighs. Your exhale, hands out wide. All the way back, turn your armpits to the sky, roll your elbows up to the sky, lift your chin. And then as you inhale, release your hands forward, take your prayer, roll over your back toes, keep your left toes up to the sky, and straight into arrow. Arrow first before parabrita. Press your ring fingers away, take your prayer, give your bicep towards your ears, press your chest into your thigh. Suck your belly button off your thighs, you can grow long in your side ribs your left heel back, then your left elbow comes across onto your right knee, right elbow comes high, drop your right into the hip point, lift your left, kick your left heel back, turn with your shoulders to up dog your chest, cobra your chest, so fan your left ribs round on the inhale and draw your right ribs round, so you're really twisting with your ribs. Inhale, look to the front of the mat, take the weight into your right foot, and float your left heel off the mat. Keep your left elbow on your right knee, rock forward, lift your left heel off the mat. It's really tricky, hold it if you can. And then exhale, your hand comes down at either side of your right foot, stay with your heel high, and you're gonna straight up for a standing split, press through your left toes, and then just bounce on your right foot and float your right foot so it lands first to the back of the mat. So that will become an L-shaped yeah. handstand. Yeah, exactly like that. Exhale. Good, and all the way back. Inhale. Inhale. Inhale, Udva Mukha. Exhale. Exhale, meet in Dan Dog. Oh man, what you're yeah. going to do here is you're going to kick your right toes up and you're going to stay in three-legged dog. So you're going to be three-legged dog, three-legged chaturanga, three-legged up face dog, and three-legged down. Exhale. Go through the other thing. The three-legged. Good. Uh, so dolphin plank flex. Meet and dolphin plank. The most important thing here is your palms are pressed into the mat. Not a fist thing, it's a palm thing. Pressing the knuckle of your index finger into the mat. And now walk your toes up towards your elbows. You'll be start sucking energy up your thighs, your knees constantly cap draw up. You're using your lats, your, your thoracic anterior muscles, and now as you exhale, kick your right toes up towards the sky. Drop your right hip point, pressing your hands into the mat. Really well done. Find the space and still try to breathe comfortably. 
Kundalini Asana too. Good, good, nice one, man. Looking good, man. And when you're ready, come down, knees on the mat, and rest in the Tana Shana. And rest. Inhale, push your knees out wide. And exhale, pull your arms down to the mat. So the art of yoga is to dissolve the state in which problems exist. So when you're present and you're not worrying about the past or the future, what you should be doing, what you could be doing, then you don't have any problems. And that's the state we're trying to get to. And that's what they mean by moving meditation. So look for that. Create that space. Take responsibility for that space that you've created. And when your thoughts come into your head, just let them go. Exhale, push back up into down dog. Let's meet in down dog. Deep inhale, coming up onto your toes. As you exhale, step to left foot forward, step to your right foot forward. Inhale, fly your front chest long. As you exhale, Ukutasana, look at your belly button now. Ukutasana, one breath. And exhale, Samasiti, come up to Samasiti. And just pause here in Samasiti, close your eyes, look up your third eye. Your tongue still pushes to the roof of your mouth. Check in on the quality of this moment. Check in on the quality exhale. of your breath. You exhale, take your reverse prayer, either push your fists in towards each other or slide your prayer up your spine. Pull your elbows back, step your left foot back, about two thirds of a step. Take a deep inhale as you exhale, come down halfway, lifting your heart away from your belly button. Firm your outer thighs in, assist your inner thighs towards each other, and now as you exhale, come all the way down, chin to shin. Lifting your heart away from your belly button. Strong in your right toe mound. Drawing the energy up your right thigh. Firm your outside in. And now as you inhale, coming up halfway. Take, release your prayer. Take your left hand outside your right foot. Outside your right foot. You might want to block this. Sorry, I should have said. And now we'll take your right hand to the sky. Paravrita Trikonasana, right hand to the sky. Uh uh, no, Ardha Trikonasana, no, right hand to the sky. That's it. The left hand outside your right foot. Good. As you exhale, release down, and take the weight into your right leg and float your left up for your Yogadrasana uh, three, Warrior three. Warrior three. Palms by your hips. Turn your little fingers down. Palms facing the walls. Little fingers down. Your chest is open. Little fingers down. Palm facing the other way. Other way. Good. Yeah. No. 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 Other way. Other way from that. Okay, that is good. Deep inhale. That's the one. So you're flying forward. That's the one. And now as you exhale, your right hand comes down under your right shoulder for Ardha Chandrasana. Kick through your left heel. Ardha Chandrasana, so half moon pose, right hand under your right shoulder, left hand to the sky, look over your left shoulder, wrap your left thigh towards the sky, kick your right heel into the mat. Good. As you exhale, your left hand comes down to the mat, take your right hand onto your sacrum, kick your right, your, your left heel away, and Paravrita Ardha Chandrasana, look over your right shoulder, your left hand's on the mat, twisted your Ardha Chandrasana. The left heel's high, good out. Right hand, shoulder high. Straighten that back leg, breathe into the resistance. Try not to lock yourself out. Last inhale, and you're gonna bend your right knee, place your left foot at the back of the mat, the blade of your left foot, and you're gonna prepare your left hand in the midline, step your right foot back for, um, Vashashasana, side plank on the left side. Good, guys. Lift the over your right shoulder, banana your hips up, take a modification. And then on the exhale, your right hand's gonna fall over your right ear. Yeah. Right hand's gonna come all the way over your right ear. You banana your hips up. Last inhale. Exhale, your right hand comes down on the mat, stay in high plank. Yeah. Press your spine through your shoulder blade. Be responsible for your breath. 
and then come down up to Roman, you don't need to do this. Um, come down to your elbow to go from plank. Yeah, five. Breathe in, dolphin plank now. And then roll onto your left elbow as you take your right hand to the sky. Dolphin Vashashasana. Take your right hand behind your back to reverse prayer. Well done. And now glue your left ear onto your left shoulder. Banana your hips. Press up to the sky. Remember to breathe. Exhale, your right elbow comes down to the mat. Meet in sphinx pose. Dragging your armpit flesh to walk through. Press your pubic bone into the mat. Press your toes into the mat. Draw your heart forward. Release the muscles in your spine. Good work. You exhale, push back through Balasana. Take a, just one beautiful, long, generous, nourishing breath in in Balasana. And exhale out to reset your breath. Push back up into down dog. Well done, gang. So on the end, take an inhale, commit onto your toes. Exhale, step your left foot forward, step your right foot forward, or shoulders over wrist. Inhale, Ukatasana, sweep your breath, sky drop the tailbone, ring fingers away from the tailbone. Exhale, Tamasiti. Take your reverse prayer. Walk your fist up your back, step your right foot back, left foot forward, right foot 45 degrees. Exhale, come down halfway. Lift your belly button away, away from your uh, heart, away from your belly button to suck the energy up into your left hip crease. Draw your left kneecap up. Firm your left toe manager the mat, and now come down all the way. Firm your outer thighs in. Scissor your inner thighs towards each other. Draw your right hip point forward and soften. Now try and soften and surrender here. Lift your elbows up. Press your hands together. Inhale, your chest comes up halfway, parallel with the floor. Take your right hand outside your left foot for your Paravrita Chakranasana. Outside your right foot, left hand to the sky. Well done. It's not easy. You guys are good. You're doing good. Good. And exhale, release your left hand down as you look forward. And now lift your right foot off the mat as you take your hand behind down to your hips. Straight into warrior three, rear breath number three. Good, hands by your hips. Good, Palm, little fingers down, palms to the sides, out to the side wall. Good, so you're flying, which is forward. Press your fingertips away from your crown. Make your, make your four corners of your neck long. And then exhale, your left hand comes underneath your left shoulder, the heart of Chandrasana. Right hand, I kick your left heel away. Look over your right shoulder. Again, spiral using your ribs, draw them round, roll your right ribs round, lift your chin, look up to your right fingers, one, two, and then your left hand, right hand comes down on the mat, you take your left hand, you place it on your sacrum, drop your right hip point, kick your right toes away, and now, Viparita, Ardha Chandrasana, twist, and it's cooking, you can feel it, you can feel it in your thighs, you breathe into the resistance, it's not gonna last, and then exhale, you place the back of your right foot and the back of the mat, pivot on your left heel, bash your chest on your right hand side, well done. Left hand to the sky, banana your hips up, your left bicep, glue it onto your left ear. As you banana your hips up, turn the crease of your right elbow towards the front of the mat, wrap it forward so you come out of your shoulder girdle. And then exhale, your left hand comes down, high plank for a breath, push your spine through your shoulder blades, draw your hip points up through your chin, and then walk your hands forward, take elbow to elbow down at the same time, down to dolphin plank. Good, well done. Rolling onto your right elbow, take your back to chest and dolphin back to chest and the left hand to the sky. Set and prepare. Take your left hand behind your back in reverse prayer. Good. Now glue your right ear onto your right shoulder. Banana your hips up. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. 
tail, place your left elbow down on the mat, come straight down into the golf, uh, into seal, into the six seal. So you want to catch outside your mat, hold me outside your mat. Now lift your elbows off the mat, draw your elbows in, pull your hands out. So you're gonna feel your shoulder blades knit. You hold on to the mat though, hold on to the mat. Now try and pull it, try and rip it. Line your belly. Put your right cheek on the mat. Next, inhale, we're going to push back up to Balasana. Shut back up to Balasana. Get another long, deep, nourishing breath in. Back up to the down dog. And then from down dog, reset, find yourself in down dog, Udra Mukha, Ardha Mukha. Just check in on yourself. And then in the exhale, step your left forward, step your right forward. Meeting Uttanasana. From Uttanasana, you're going to lift your chest, it's parallel with the floor, lift your arms by your eye ears, press your ring fingers away from your tailbone, and fly your front chest long as you send your tailbone back to the mat, press into your toes, draw your kneecaps up to your thighs, and coming up onto your toes, just press the ground away, keep pressing your ring fingers forward, and now coming up to standing, I'm all the way up, by up to ears, good. Now your heels are underneath your hip points, and then release down to Samasthi. You step your right foot down the mat. We're going to go straight into Paravrita Padvodhanasana. Have your feet at 45 degrees, so Skandasana beforehand. So, not even, not even that. Skandasana, because feet we've had a bit of a tough standing one so far. Skandasana, remember Skandasana? You bend your right knee, your left knee straight. Take your wrap, your right shoulder around your right shin. Right shoulder comes around your shin. Good. Drop your right hip point all the way down. Your left, your right heel might come off the mat. Look over your right shoulder. Al, you're not quite there. It's like this. Let me just show you. It's here. You're down here. Whoops. Go here. And the trick is to keep your right heel whoops, on the mat. As you roll your left eye to the sky. It's adductor control. And then on the inhale, push back up, not through the neutral. Hands on your hips. Exhale, left side. Stand that on your left side. So think adductor. Roll your right side. Come down lower. Drop your left hip point down. Oh man, now roll. Come all the way down. Lower, lower, lower. Yeah. Lower, lower, lower. You almost want your butt to be grazing the floor. Look over your right shoulder, come down low on that. Good. Well done, Peps. As you inhale, come back to neutral. Hands on your hips. And now lift up. Toes pressing forward, feet parallel. Prasari to parallel from Nasana A. Hands on your hips. Keep your chin parallel with the floor. As you inhale, take a back bend. Look up at your third eye. Exhale, come all the way down. Place your hands in between your feet. Hands between your feet. Inhale, fly your front chest long. Make your front chest long, but give yourself a double chin. Now as you exhale, place, take the weight into your toes as you suck the energy up your thighs. Come all the way down. If you want to, you can take a tripod headstand here. Don't feel like you have to, it's pretty extreme. Or just stay there, keep pressing the ground away. The real, the real great thing, you're getting there, man. You bring your crown down towards the mat. You're really close. Double chin. Now, the way you get there is by sucking the energy up your thighs, so don't rely on gravity, good. So really draw your kneecaps up, and remember to breathe. Long inhalations, sure, long soft exhalations, nourishing. If you're in headstand, start to come back down, feet laced back on the mat, stay where you are. Good, inhale, lift your heart away from your belly button, fly your front chest long. Exhale, place your hands on your hips. Good. Inhale, coming up to neutral. 
and exhale. Fly your arms out wide on the inhale, turn the crease of your elbows to the sky. As you exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back, slide your thumbs down at your sacrum. As you inhale, take a back bend. Exhale, press C. As you exhale, send your tailbone back. Keep your heart lifting. Press your fists away. Again, take the weight into your toes. Suck the energy up your thighs into your hip creases. And wherever you are, you're good where you are. Just be at peace in that space. As long as you've gone beyond your comfort zone, but not over your edge, you're having a great class. You're being conscious. You're being the adult in this relationship. You're getting on with yourself. Last inhale. Last exhale. You inhale, lift your chest. It's parallel with the floor. Fly your hands out wide. Parallel with the floor. Good, hands out wide. Now, fly your front chest forward. Send your tailbone to the back of the room. Lift your thumbs, turn your thumbs to the sky. Lift your thumbs, Please touch the touch the top above your head. Good. Now, exhale. You're gonna pivot on your front left leg. Come down, we're gonna take, we're gonna take, uh, um, Hanuman. So walk your left leg forward, place your right knee on the mat. Left, left heel forward. If you, have a, if you have a block, well that's lizard. So Hanuman is left leg straight. Left leg forward, right knee on the mat. There you go. Keep the fl- sliding your left knee forward. Left foot forward. The Hanuman. Hanuman looks like this. So we're here. But your back toes are tucked. You're drawing your right hip point forward. You're drawing your left knee down the mat. And again, you're lifting out of your core. So it's sucking your left thigh up into itself. Drawing your left heel down towards your right knee. Exhale, release forward. So lie down, point your chin towards two o'clock. Your left leg's at a 12. And then inhale, push the ground away, coming on back up through press A. It's going to go straight around to your right side. Change sides. Do it on the breath. As you inhale. And now exhale, come back round. Right leg is straight. Left toe, tuck your left toes. Tuck them, no, don't lie them down, tuck them. Uh, not quite on the mat. You're pointing towards the back of the mat. Back of the mat. The right leg is the back corner. You don't do a vinyasa. You just twist. Sorry, man. Just turn around, and face up, face up, turn around. Fine, but turn around. Right knee forward, all the way around, all the way around. Face back of the mat. Right knee forward. Right leg forward. Left leg back. Got it. You're there. Just see you both in the same place. Now keep your left toes high. Keep your left heel high. Suck your right, right thigh up into your right hip socket. And draw your armpit flesh through the hips. Suck the back of your heart through. Good. Keep drawing it through. And then the extra lie down on your right thigh. Right lie down at 10.30 if your, left, your right leg is at 12. Hold it. Soften. Find space and stillness. And then inhale. Push the ground back up and away, come back around to press through to A. It's actually Sandra Kanasta, so you're much you're too wide for press A. So from here, fly your front chest forward, and then you know what's coming next. Point your finger at back, walk your hands through your thighs, point your finger at back. I'm obviously going to join you, I'm not tired, I've been doing nothing, all practice. You step in here and just demo. And what we're trying to do And then come down to There's something happening in the Konasana. Nice. We're down on the mat, which is where you're gonna stay now. Take the right thumb underneath your right knee. So you're gonna really breathe into your left side ribs, which up with your left hand, catch your left right ear, and this is fine. You're pressing your left elbow up to the side. Try and pull your right ear up. Good. If you want to go sexier, good. Take your, if you're going to take your foot, take your other underneath your foot pet to reach, wrap your right hand. So you actually want to look more like 
Take the right thumb down. The right thumb point down. Good. Point the right thumb down. Point the right thumb down. There. And then you can come over. Yes. Right thumb down. Yes. You got it. You totally got it. So now either catch your left ear with your right hand or you can catch your toes. But you're not getting any more from going further with yoga. You just, you're just further down the same path. But if you're doing it right, then you, wherever you are on that path, you're getting the same out of it. The left sitting bone can float off the mat. Inhale, coming back up to neutral. Same side. So take your, whatever you're doing on the other side. So, yeah, so your left, left thumb's down. Yeah, exactly that. Left glute floats off the mat. Heart to the sky. If you're there, go now, catch your ear. Now, now, press your left, your right elbow away from your right sitting bone. Keep your toes pointing upwards. So let's play out. Toes up. Find your stillness. Inhale, come to neutral. Now, you're going to walk, point your toes up, so you're going to start to walk your hands forward. But lean to the back of your heart. So you're again, you're, it's this action. You're trying to draw your heart through. It's not the dough muscle like there's no... Reach forward at all costs. Exactly. Bendy. Oh, man, perfect. Now draw the back of your heart through. Lead with the back of your heart. Roll your thighs out. Good. Really good. Perfect. Your, chin, your, your chest has to go down before your chin. So chest on the floor, then chin. Good. Roll your, your hip points forward. Good. And then release, press the ground away, come up to Slide your legs forward, shake them out. Shake them out, we'll come straight to Baddha Kanasana from here. So heels, heels touching, Baddha Kanasana. Turn your feet to the sky. So catch the undersides of your feet, open like a book. Open, open the pages of your feet like a book. Press your elbows into your thighs. And now, as you start to shuffle, I like to shuffle my glutes that wide. Eventually, you're going to really grab a big chunk of glute either side. Yeah, and then start to draw your armpit flesh through. Have that action, that intention, as you start to head, send your chin towards the ground. It's going to take a lifetime to get there, but you leave it here. It's not about pressing your spine through your shoulder blades. And the inhale, come back up. Lie on your back, hug your knees towards your chest. Rock and roll up and down your spine, massage your lump spine. And then from here, it straight up into Dandasana. Sit into Dandasana. Point your toes. Uh, sorry, pull your toes towards your chest. What am I talking about? Press the wrist by your hips, draw your armpit flesh through, drag your fingers down your back. So Dandasana. Toes are touched, feet are touching. Good. Pull your toes towards, up towards your chin. Draw your heart through, back of your heart. Breathe the backs of your knees. Tilt your hip points forward. Just switch on. Oh, we're not there yet. Come on. We're just in Dandasana. So it's Dandasana, Paschimottanasana, then Brahmacharyasana, reverse, and then, and then, and then Parvata. So you know what you do. We're here. Draw again that action. Suck the energy up your thighs. And take a deep inhale as you exhale. Then lie forward. 
keep coming forward, catch your toes, place your thumbs. So catch your toes with your peace fingers. Now rest your thumbs on your toes. Point your thumbs, toes forward. Good. Now lift your elbows. Lift your elbows high, out wide. Lift them out wide. Now draw your heart from lead to the back of your heart. Good. Just exactly that. Stop the energy up your thighs. Right. Keep pointing your thumbs forward. That kind of gives you the intention. Yes. Catch your toes, my man. You got it. And soften. And again, be prepared to rewrite your story here. So you may, you have, we have preconceptions of how flexible we are. You might be bendier. We might not be feeling like it. Don't go into it with preconceptions. Crap, then you take your Pashi Montanasana B. So take your left, your, your left wrist with your right hand. Or take the outside of your toes and either your toes towards your chin. Or you can take the bind from around the outside of your feet. And now, again, tilt your hip points forward, suck the energy up your thighs, lift your core up over your hip points. Toes are touching, oh man, so pull your little toes up towards you. You'll feel it down the outside of your, your thighs, your, your, your hamstrings, because it's working. Remember, what we do on the mat is how we live our lives. So yoga isn't even what we do on the mat, it's how we treat ourselves in real life. Remember. Inhale, come back up, walk your hands up, your legs along the mat on the floor until your hand comes up, your thighs, brahmacharya, asana. You can either be like a superhero of a man or just lift your hip points off the mat. Or you can lift your toes off the mat, point your toes. Yeah, man. Wish I was you. I've got brahmacharya, asana, envy. Good, Al. It's not easy. You need to have killed a lot of mice to be able to be that good at things. Walk your hands behind your back for per button asana. Hands about a foot behind your back. Point your fingers forward. Now point your toes. You're going to switch on your thighs and jack your hip points up towards the sky. Switch so tailbone high. Send your pubic bone up to the sky and press your toes into the mat. Lift your chin. Point, point, point your toes. The ground so close, my man. So close. One more deep inhale. Yeah, you're so close. Exhale, lie down on your backs. Nice. Hug your knees in towards your chest. And then from here, let's take our finishing, our closing, so that rest your feet on your knee, your feet on the floor. And we go into Setu Banda Sarvangasana Bridge. Uh, or you can take a Udva Dhanurasana. If you're going to take Udva Dhanurasana, your toes are pointing in. If you're feeling up for it, toes are pointing in. Make sure those toes point in. Heels out wide. Toes in. Heels out wide. Toes in. Roma. Heels out wide. Roma. Heels out wider. Heels out wide. Toes in. Toes in. Good. Now the heels, your hands by your ears. And as you exhale, send your tailbone up high, you're on your outer thighs, you're rolling in, but your hip points, outer thighs rolling out, hip points rolling, sorry, thighs rolling in, hip points rolling out, straight arms. Now straighten your arms and roll your biceps towards the front of the mat. So roll yourself open, roll them back, roll your armpits forward. Send your tailbone through, make your tailbone long. And then when you're ready, come just place your crown of your head on the mat just for one breath. Hold it there. Breathe in. Exhale. And then on the inhale, on the inhale, coming back up. And inhale, push the ground away. Good. Really good. Again, turn the creases of your elbows out so you're opening across your shoulders. Send your pubic bone long. Press into your toes. And when you're ready, come down. Good skills, gang. Good, with our Danarasanas. Well done. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Let's take a nice 
supine twist. So right knee onto your left, stack your right knee on top of your left, take your left hand onto your right leg, onto your right knee, and fall over to your left hand side. Look over your right shoulder. It's really relaxing. Keep your tongue pushed into the roof of your mouth. And again, now is a good time to ask yourself, what's the quality of this moment? What am I making this moment into? As you look over your right shoulder. And how do I control the quality of this moment? Using your breath and the inhale, bring your knees back up, take change sides, the left knee over right. Right hand on your left knee. And inhale, bring your knees back up. Uh, at this point, you're going to lie back and lie down. in take over. And ask yourself, check in on yourself, ask what is the quality of this moment? Sakti 
Ask yourself this question. Who am I without reference to memory? of energy down your towards your fingers and your toes wiggling your extremities on the next exhale hug your knees in towards your chest rock and roll up and down your spine keep your eyes closed on the exhale you're gonna come straight up into Sakasana just meet in Sakasana where you began the practice heels in line with your groin, soles of your feet facing the sky. Your eyes closed. Your prayer, drawing your prayer into your heart, lifting your heart with your thumb. Now rolling your shoulders down your back, pointing your fingertips forward and pressing the back of your heart into your thumb. And lifting your thumbs, placing them beneath your brow, and pausing here in gratitude and thanks for these bodies that work as well as they do and this opportunity you've just had given yourself to explore your relationship with yourself, how you treat yourself, which directly reflects how you treat other people as you go into the world with this awareness and this yoga awareness. Exhale, bow to your prayer, giving thanks to your teachers, past, present, future. Inhale, come back up, bring your eyes open, try more. Thanks for your energy, guys. As always, as always, Oh, dude, that was such an amazing class. Oh, you look sweet.